Transurfer and the Transurfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia and this is Transurfing TV, guys. And today on Transurfing TV, oh my god, some hidden secret Vadim Zealand hacking the technogenic system information that is yet to be translated to the English language, the book. We are translating little bits of it for the International Transurfing Institute Facebook group. Actually, Mohil is doing it, one of our top contributors on the Facebook group. And I'm going to read a bit that he translated and posted and then give you all my breakdown of exactly my thoughts on this this part of the book. I believe it's just the introduction, but it's so weird how this knowledge is like in my blood. It's very strange. I skimmed over this post briefly and it was like I just understood exactly what Vadim was talking about, right? And what he is talking about here is pendulums, right? The vast wasteland of, of <laughs> the system as it is set up for us that wants us to adhere to it, to dull our own, our own light, right? And serve the pendulums it be so we can facilitate whatever the hell it is going on behind the scenes and essentially lose ourselves in the process. You can't really have both. And here's, here's the really interest, interesting part about reality transurfing that eludes a lot of people. Um, I have seen, and I've said this a number of times, and for those of you that watch this channel, continuously, I, I, this is something that I, a phenomenon that is, is evidence that is just, it, it's indisputable. It's absolute evidence that if you are a part of the system that's set up, you probably are not happy with what it is that you have. And yes, there absolutely is exceptions. There are exceptions, right? But more or less, what I have noticed from my state of lucidity and all of the different people that I come in contact with on a daily basis in the transurfing community, there's really two types of people. There's the type of person that has turned away from the pendulum's rule, do as I do, that has seen the system and doesn't want to be a part of the system, except for being a part of the system in the ways that serves the individual, right? This is me. And then there's the type of person that does not have what it is that they want, yet they're constantly immersed in the outer screen, getting, getting wrapped up in, you know, social, social issues and politics and, and things that are, like Vadim says in this chapter I'm going to read, secondary issues that are of no importance. And I know this is wild because a lot of you are going to say, oh my God, there are certain things that are absolutely important. But it's like, mm, okay, well, even if that's the truth, even if that is, is real, right? If, if it is important and the pendulums are broadcasting these signals at such a strength that they are with so much you know, it is, it is a constant bombardment and we're receiving these images and we're receiving these broadcasts and we're receiving these signals, then why isn't it getting any better? So if it's that important and the pendulum's doing its thing and, and people are receiving it, then why isn't it actually working? Because the system does not want it to work. The system does not want to feed us something, right? And then we take it and we actually apply it to create solution and we resolve the issue itself. The pendulum does not want this, right? The system does not want this. So in my opinion, before I get into reading this, um, the only way out is to remove yourself, to remain involved is simply 
continuing this vicious cycle of people being dulled and the system making the issue louder and more aggressive and remember it doesn't matter what energy you feed a pendulum good or bad it's all energy and the system loves to consume that you do not have to consume what the system is feeding you right you have a choice and that's exactly what this introduction to this book is about before i get started remember to like this video comment subscribe all that jazz reality 2.0 and tufty 2.0 link below the international transurfing institute facebook group for lots of conversations on these sorts of, of of topics they're awesome this is a thriving active community i'm so honored to be in this group and to be leading some of the conversations because they are dynamic and i want to just thank everyone that watches these videos and also participates in the Facebook group. Join me on Instagram, reality underscore transurfing. Lots of cool things there. I do a lot of 78 days of practical transurfing in there, so definitely check it out. Okay, so before I get into this, I'm just gonna go ahead and read the translated text that Mohil post, posted, and then I'm going to break it down. Okay, so hacking the technogenic system, the introduction, one. Or first, he says, I can summarize the introduction of this book through the following main points. One, if you do not possess any distinct qualities or talents whatsoever, then you have no other choice but to go out of context and allow yourself to become unique. Two, in your hands is the mechanism of emancipation that we simplify for you here in this book. You can create for yourself the world you want. Your mental powers will rise and your creative reserve will flow until it reaches the level of genius. Oh my God, <laughs> I think that's happening to me. There will be no obstacles for achieving your goals and the gates of reality will open in front of you. Oh my God, this is amazing. Three, respected reader. In your hands is a book created by the force and I am not the one who wrote it. Rather, it is the one which imposed itself through me and pulled me towards it. Hey, kind of like me doing these videos. This is awesome. And I can confirm this with certainty. First, because I originally did not have the energy to write this on my own accord. And secondly, without the support of the force, all of my efforts would have been pointless. Wow. Four, the discussion here is not about the ecology of the environment. Rather, there is another problem that is no less dangerous because it has not yet been fully evident. A problem that carries with it a threat to the most precious thing that a person has, which is his freedom and independence as an individual human being. It is a matter of the ecology of the soul, which incomprehensibly does not seem to interest anyone. <laughs> the interest is directed towards secondary issues of no importance while the world changes from the other side, which is the hidden and invisible side and with astonishing acceleration. It may seem that nothing changes at all, but in fact, something is absolutely going on. Oh my God, that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of frightening. Okay, five, sit at your workplace and never leave it. Stay inside your cell, press the button as required. Make good of the cosmic system, use whatever it gives you. Commit to the pendulum's rule, do as I do. Adhere to the principle of social incubation. If all of, of them behave in this manner, then that means that this is correct. Never think and never get out of the grand total queue. But the most important thing is to always stay in touch of the network. Stay in the common system. Do not leave the necessary equipment. 
absorb the incoming stream of information, participate in the shouting choir and the public barking so that they always repeat the echoes of the web and in turn, turn into an integral part of it. Do not think and do not tire your head. They tell you everything and display it in front of your eyes. You only have to learn how to shriek and bark the instinctive barking itself and form in yourself the necessary and recognized responses to barking in the necessary place, whether with a mouse button, a shopping cart, or a statement of options. And when the hour comes, get ready to file your place in the necessary columns. Holy crap. Okay, so he was obviously being sarcastic there. This is exactly what you don't want to have happen. Or this is what's being asked of you, rather. But oh my god, that's terrifying. Six. Now imagine a different picture. Your consciousness is liberated and clear. Your energy is higher than the energy of others. You no longer think as everyone else does, nor do what everyone else is doing. You got out of the column, but you didn't leave it. You pretend you were you pretended you were asleep while you were awake. So you see very clearly that all around you are sleeping, but you are awake. If you see very clearly that all around you are sleeping, as for you, you are completely awake. Whoever gets out of the queue gets the preference. Oh my god. Seven, when you get rid of the restrictions and conditions imposed by the cosmic system on you, it appears in front of you an opportunity to take revenge on it because they hypnotize your personality. You are unique and now you are free and it is an extremely wonderful privilege, which is why it is best to take advantage of this privilege. Oh my God, I love it. I cannot wait for this book to be translated. This is, this is amazing, I love this kind of stuff. Okay, so my gist of, of, of what I just read is that there is a script. Obviously, we know this, right, from reading, reading the Tufty book. There is a script that does not serve us or our intentions. And again, getting back to those people that I talk of frequently that are extremely unhappy with what it is that they have, they don't have the romantic relationship they want. They don't have the profession that they want. They don't have the life that they want. Yet they are concerning themselves with these secondary matters, as Vadim puts it, that are of no importance. This is really the crux of it. You get a choice, but there's only two different choices. And I know this sounds a little bit limiting, but this is really how I see it. You get the choice of, okay, so you're awake, you're watching these videos, you're listening to my words, you're realizing that there is a system in play that does not serve you or your intentions. You have a choice. You can either be a part of that system, the barking, the shrieking, right, when you're called to, <laughs> pressing the button, your only real choices are made with a mouse click or a shopping cart, right? All of this consumerism and, um, you know, tuning into social causes and getting fired up politically and, and viewing, viewing something as being wrong with the world as convinced to you, you know, by these pendulums at bay, this, this is, this is consuming you. If you are choosing this one, this is, there's no way to live that and to also live the free version of you. You are either part of the system or you are a free agent, right? So the people that I see in my life that are absolutely killing it, right? Like Vadim Zeeland or certain entrepreneurs that I follow or people in the trans surfing community that I look up to that are really doing awesome things with their lives, they are not playing this game right? The script game. And I will get more into that in a moment. They are choosing with awareness to step out of it. And they are making sure, making certain that those signals from that script do not penetrate the layer of reality that they have chosen for themselves. This is me as well, 
right? I just don't play the game. So have you made the choice to be free, right? Are you free or are you concerned with secondary issues? Is your life what you want it to be right now? Do you have what it is that you want to have? And if you are saying no to this, right? If you're saying no, then just like Vadim Zeeland says in the very beginning of this, this, this statement, if you do not possess any distinct qualities or talents whatsoever, then you have no other choice but to go out of context and allow yourself to become unique. Okay, so the key here is to go out of context. You're not going to, you are not going to become this vibrant, brilliant genius in this space. It's just unacceptable to the pendulums. They don't want it. The system is going to do everything to try to keep you from achieving that and it will, and it will win, right? So in order to become vibrant and free and a genius and doing your own thing, it's about making a conscious choice to free yourself from this co cosmic system that is not serving you. So, okay, what, what is in this script that is against our intentions, right? What is in this script, script that is so controlling? What are some of the attributes of this script? So this, or what are some of the ways that you could, that you could confirm that you are in fact in this script? That's the best way of saying it. First, if you are asking yourself, why don't I have my goal? Okay. Why you don't have your goal is because you need to step out of it in order to achieve it. If you are asking, where is my wealth and freedom? It doesn't exist in here, right? It just doesn't. I mean, very, very, there, are, there are some exceptions, but more so, it does not exist in this script. Where are my special qualities? Just as Vadim says, if you feel you don't have any special qualities right now, you have no choice but to step out of the, of the script and create some. You do have that ability, and I am absolute walking proof of this, right? If you're saying, well, I guess I just need to accept it, you're giving in, right? The, the script, the cosmic, cosmic script, sorry, um, the cosmic script has one at this point, right? If you're saying, I guess I just need to accept my lot. And if you're asking yourself why it is so hard, because the system wants to, <laughs> the system wants to break you. The best, the best way that you could serve the system is if you are not your own individual person, but if you're sitting at home clicking and shopping and watching the news, then you have, then you have fulfilled what the pendulum wanted you to fulfill, right? You have, you, you have succumbed to the script. So the person that has stepped out of the script, this is me, I've let go, right? I am imbued with infinite positive qualities. I can have anything that I want. I can wholeheartedly say that when I was in this space here, these thoughts were not, they, they it's, it's, it's the, the frequencies off. This has got a specific frequency and this has got a specific frequency. You have to choose. You have to choose. What do you want? Are you happy being in here? Or do you want something more for yourself? I know this is kind of like a little bit dark. It's very much like the Matrix. Um, you know, when Neo's like waking up, he takes the pill that, you know, he wakes up and he's pulling all the things off of him. But this is for those of you that do not have what it is that you want right now. If you do not have what it is that you want, including an infinite number of positive qualities, right? Your own light, your own development, development of your reality, the way that you want to experience it. If you're lacking any of these things, then you're probably caught up in this too much. Again, the biggest ways that we get caught up in this politics, uh, pol polarizing social media, consumerism, all that kind of stuff that the pendulums really love to feed us, right? 
And again, you don't have to eat it. There's more, there's more out here than there is in here. And I lived in here for a long time. So I absolutely know this to be true. So what do you think about this lesson, everybody? Is it starting to get a little bit out there? <laughs> do, you, do you hear it? Are you in this space here? Are you here? How can you live more here? How can you keep yourself from going here, no matter how loud it gets? And if you're here, are you ready to make the choice today to get out? So let me know your thoughts and join us on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.